Namaste everybody. Welcome to Udaya's classroom. In today's lesson, we are going to see the second term of LPG that is privatization. Come, let's get started with the class. The second term, privatization. What do you mean by privatization? Privatization means we need privacy to function on our own, right? So that is what it means. So it means removing strict control over private sector that is strict control over the private sector in trading business and making them free to take necessary decisions which means the private sector can function on its own there should not be much restrictions for them and government should not impose strict restrictions towards the private sectors so they have to take their decisions on their own so that is what called as privatization like as reduction in the number of reserved public sector industries increasing the share of private sector investments which means the government sectors that is the public uh, sectors will have more shares with the industries so the more number of shares could be reduced and the chance could be given to the private sectors for their investments that is what it means so let us see what are all the policies imposed under the privatization. The first point is disinvestment of public sector. Disinvestment of public sector. Disinvestment means the literal meaning of disinvestment is selling of assets. Which means in case of public sector undertakings, uh, disinvestment, uh, disinvestment means government selling or uh, government will be selling its assets or it will be diluting its stakes. Stake means share. So if the public sector has got share with any industries, so the public sector undertaking shares could be reduced. So the majority holding of the public sector will be reduced. So that is called disinvestment, which means it will give opportunity for the private sectors. So disinvestment assumes significance due to the a prevalence of a competitive environment which makes it difficult for uh, many public sector undertakings operate profitability so this is what the meaning of disinvestment in simple terms disinvestment uh, disinvestment means selling of assets so the public sector will be selling its assets or it will be diluting its shares in order to give opportunity for the private sectors so to achieve this, the government redefined the role of public sector in the new industrial policy of 1991. So which means earlier after the independence, the public sector has got the majority in the uh, country's power. So in the industrial policy 1991, the uh, role of public sector itself redefined differently. And the next is the government has also made attempts to improve the efficiency of public sector by giving them autonomy in taking managerial decisions. Which means the government sector could not concentrate in all the areas in the industries. So due to that reason only in 1991 after the independence LPG system has been brought. So in order to improve the efficiency of the government uh, that is the public sectors they have given some autonomy in taking managerial decisions. Autonomy means the right or conditions of self-government. In general terms autonomy means uh, freedom. It can function on its own without anybody's interference. Okay. So this is what the third policy brought under the privatization. And the next policy is setting up of board of industrial and financial reconstructions, which is uh, in short, it is called BIFR, which aim to revive sick units in public sector. Can you understand? So, what the government is doing, it is setting up BIFR, it is a body. So, what this body will do, this board of industrial financial reconstruction unit 
will be reviving the industry, sick units, if the particular public sector is not functioning properly, this BAFR will revive the industry properly, whether it could be worked out properly, sick units could be reconstructed or it could be closed down. So, either it should function or it should be closed down. So, uh, uh, this, uh, these decisions will be taken up by this Board of uh, Industri uh, Reconstruction, that is the Board of in uh, Industrial Financial Reconstruction. So, that is the reason why government will refer this board to the public sectors. So, aim to revive sick units in public sector. So, revive means what? Restore to life, whether the industry could be restored by life by repairing certain things or it should be closed down, it will be desired. Okay, so what the employees will be doing who are all working under the sick units if the government has taken the decision it could be closed, the employees who are all working under the sick units will be guided properly maybe they will be taking voluntary retirement or they will be referred to national renewal fund so they will be getting some compensation fund from the government so this is how the employees of the sick units also will be treated so these are all the policies of privatization let's move on to the next term globalization all right the third system is globalization Globalization means nothing but the country people, uh, traders can have interaction between one country to another country. So that is what. So free interaction. Interaction means communication. They can, they can communicate with each other. Interaction among economies of the world in the field of trade. So which are all the field people can have communication from one country to other countries. That means from India to America or from India to Japan like other countries trade traders can have communication and related to finance production technology sharing could be done production sharing could be done finance sharing could be done and even investment foreigners can invest in our country our country people can invest in the foreign so all these changes took place in the new economic policy 1991 only so earlier to this, there was a lot of restrictions for the foreign investment. Foreigners cannot invest in our country that much easily. So this 1991 has done it. So it's termed as globalization. Globalization means what? So country to, uh, from one country to other country, people can have communication. They can interact each other, each other. So which are all the field means trade, finance, production, technology and investment is termed as globalization. So the first point is devaluation of rupee. Devaluation of rupee means nothing but the value of the country's currency could be revalued. So this work will be done by the country's government. So India's uh, currency rupee uh, comparing to US dollar the variations will be there. So devaluation will be there for our currency. So this will be done by the government. And the next policy is raising foreign equity participation. So foreign uh, country people can uh, be a equity participants. So they can be a shareholders of our country. So raising foreign equity participation. They can be a part, a participation, uh, equity participation in our country. So uh, foreign currencies will be coming to our country. It will develop the economy. That is the reason. Long period trade policy. Long period trade policy means the trade policy even uh, 10 years uh, we can have uh, trade to any other country like that or 20 years. So long term we can have trade policies that also implemented in this globalization. And the fourth point is convertibility of rupee. Convertibility of rupee means nothing but one country's currency could be converted as gold or any other form of currency. But Indian currency partially we can convert in the markets if it is a very meager amount. But when it comes to larger amount, partially only we can convert. Then we have certain restrictions. So convertibility means one country currency could be converted into another form as gold or any other form of currency. 
So that's all we have completed the LPs, LPG that is branches of new economic policy, liberalization, privatization and globalization. LPG is over. Hope you are clear with the LPG system of new economic policy 1991. With this we will end up the session today. I will meet you with a new topic. Till then it's bye from Udaya.